Hi everybody, welcome back to our van build series. I am Mike and this is Sir Cedric, our 1988 Mercedes T1 fire truck, which we currently convert into a camper van. Last episode, we built the subframe for the ceiling and insulated the roof. Now is part two of ceiling construction. Let's call it how to build the most beautiful lightweight ceiling. Our ceiling is inspired by Marie and Dom from Van Life Sagas, by the way, absolutely great channel. And we always loved their ceiling, just it's much too heavy and much too thick for our relatively small van. So we reinvented, re-engineered the whole ceiling and uh, to give you a sneak peek, now it looks like this. Our whole ceiling weighs just 15 kg, that's about 75% less than the original one and it's only 0.9 centimeter thick, about one third of the original one. And we wanted the ceiling to be more flexible because our roof is curved and we wanted the ceiling to follow the line of the roof and make the cockpit section as open and airy as possible. So let's jump back to the beginning now and I will show you exactly how we built the ceiling. We use these two materials, super lightweight 4 mm poplar plywood, which is only 1.5 kg per square meter, and half a centimeter thin pine slats, which are only 100 g per meter. Everything starts with a lot of measuring, and this part of the job is really not easy, unfortunately, especially in our case, because we have to find the correct position of the two max fan, and we have to perfectly align both panels. The actual cutting with the jigsaw is then the easy part of the job. For later installation of the panel we use M6 bolts together with the existing anchor nuts and additional screws into the subframe. With a pencil in a piece of wood, the good old trick which I already used last video, I copy the shape of the front end of my plywood panel, then I cut it with the jigsaw. Before cutting the holes for the LED spots, we put the two center pine slats provisionally in place. For cutting these small holes, we use a hole saw. Again, measuring is complicated and time consuming, cutting is fast and easy. Before painting the panel, we better double check if our cuttings are correct. And yes, the ceiling fits surprisingly well. Our color concept is a dark background and light color for the slats. We use Osmo Decor Wax in ebony color, a combination of oil and wax, which is easy to apply. This product is certified for indoor use and even for kids toys, so I believe it's not toxic. You could now continue with painting the slabs, but I prefer first cutting all slabs to the correct length and also to pre-drill at least the position of all screws. Each slat is 4 cm wide and we use 12 mm spacers between the slats. Now it's already good to imagine the final look of the ceiling and uh, I can't wait to put it in the van. But before that we still have to paint it and before painting it's important to number the slats, otherwise assembly could become a nightmare later. We use Osmo Decor Wax in light oak for the slats, but it turned out too yellowish, so we added another coat in a more reddish color called Cherry Tree. And we are quite happy with the result because it accentuated the wood grain, but it was also double the work that we planned. By the way, if you want to check out Osmo Decor Wax, there is a link to Amazon in the description below. Now it's time for a jigsaw puzzle. I am most afraid that maybe finally the slats do not perfectly align in the front and in the back section and that would be the worst nightmare after so much time and work invested. Before final installation it's crucial not to forget the cables for the LED spots for the max fan and also for the solar panel. Plus some extra conduits for more cables which we might need later in the conversion process. The best way to attach the conduits to the Armaflex insulation is Armaflex tape. Before installing the ceiling panel, we also have to trim the area above the windscreen. The best and easiest solution for this area is a self-adhesive sheet of felt. The most difficult part is correct cutting. The actual installation just needs some patience and the final result looks like a factory option. 
this little bit of felt is a big upgrade for the cockpit. Now comes the moment of truth. Will everything fit together or break into pieces before already? Here yeah. so yeah. Investing in these extendable columns, yeah. not sure how they are correctly named in English, was absolutely crucial. It would be impossible to mount the ceiling without these tools. That's why I also put an Amazon link to such a product in the description below. So, it must be actually quite clear. The first panel is in place and I think it looks absolutely amazing. But in other words, the second panel still has to prove that it also fits and that all slats finally are that straight. Nothing less would be acceptable, of course. Now we just have to install the bolts and screws. Yeah, everything is in place and I'm super happy with the results. The slats align perfectly and I would say it looks even better than I expected. There is quite a high tension in this area here where the roof makes the curve down. And uh, luckily we installed the anchor nuts everywhere here because just a screws in the wood would surely tear out. So if anyone wants to copy our ceiling, don't forget to install anchor nuts in this area. That's absolutely essential. Connecting both max fan and LED spots is very easy now. By the way, I think these matte black LED spots are a perfect match to our ceiling and if you want to check them out, there is a link in the description. Well, now the ceiling is finally finished. A lot of work for sure, but the ceiling is a bit of a trademark for a van, so every minute was very well invested. And I think it looks super unique, super stylish, and the van even looks a bit bigger because the cockpit is visually a little bit more included now. I am very curious now what you think about our ceiling and uh, yeah, maybe leave a comment or a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you want to join us on our further van conversion adventure. One addition to my last video about the Max fan. I told you that you can only suck air out of the van but not into the van and even if you change polarity it doesn't make a difference because the rotor blades turn the other way around but still only they suck air out of the car. So I was looking for a good alternative to get air into the car and found these grills by Tigris Synchro and the link to the company is of course in the description. You can mount them on both side windows and it's not possible to remove them from outside, only from inside, so it's not possible to break into the car while you are sleeping, for example. And you can even use them in rainy conditions, so that makes them the perfect way to get ventilation in the van, especially in combination with the Max fan. Oh, and they also have a mosquito mesh inside, so you also have peace of mind in terms of blood bandits. See you next time.